In this video, I'm going to show you how to colorize black and white images in Photoshop. So we're going to be using the colorize filter inside the new neural filters in Photoshop to colorize this image. And to apply the filter, you're going to go to filter, then neural filters. Then you'll find the new colorize filter at the top and all you have to do is to enable the filter. Now Photoshop is going to detect the objects in the image and automatically colorize the image. So as you can see most of the image is now colorized except for some areas that Photoshop did miss and there's also some color bleeding and I'm gonna show you how to fix that in a little bit. So on the right side you have the settings for the colorized filter and you can use these sliders to increase the saturation if your image needs to. You can control the warmth of the image using the cyan, magenta and yellow sliders. There's also a color artifact reduction slider which may help you to reduce the artifacts and color bleeding a little bit. But in this case it's not doing much to the image so we're gonna keep the value of this slider low. You also have a noise reduction slider which it can be helpful especially for an old image like this one. So once you are happy with all the settings, you can export this image as it is and it will apply to the image. But in this case, we're going to export the filter on a new layer so I can further modify the changes. And to do that, you can check this option which will allow you to output the color layer only. Now as you can see, Photoshop will create a color map for you. And now to export this, make sure your output option is set to new layer, then click on OK. So as you can see, now we have the color layer on its own and its blending mode is set to color. So now we need to colorize the areas that Photoshop missed and we also need to remove the color bleeding in certain areas. And to do that, we're gonna use the same technique which is painting with the brush tool on a new layer set to a color blending mode. So create a new layer at the top, then change the blending mode to color. Now take the brush tool and choose in opacity and flow to 50%. Then all you have to do is paint on the areas that has the color bleeding by sampling a similar color using the brush tool with Alt or Option and painting on top of it. So using this technique, you're gonna be able to easily fix the color bleeding and colorize the missing areas. And using a low flow and opacity will help you blend the colors better. Another important thing to remember is if you click on I, make sure your sample size is set to 5x5 or 11x11 average. This way when you sample with the brush tool, you'll be able to sample an average color from that area and not a color from just one pixel. Now, if you feel that the certain area is oversaturated, you can create a hue saturation adjustment layer on the top, then reduce the saturation, and then invert the layer mask by clicking on Ctrl or Command I. Now you can take the brush tool and reduce the flow and opacity to 20 or 10%, then you can paint on top of that area with white to desaturate it. And that's how you can easily colorize black and white images in Photoshop. If you like this tutorial, make sure to subscribe to the channel and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on new tutorials like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.